Okay. Namaste and peace and blessings, everyone. We are going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes, if that feels good for you. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer with our, stump, with our thumbs touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. Continuing to gaze the eyes downward as we relax Solid meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling that body soothes. As our palms relax onto the earth, the sides of our bodies. We are using our palms to connect to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths, connecting, going inward. As we flow our palms above the head in a salute, fingertips close up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Shoulders close up towards the ears, elongating that spinal cord here. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is up. Building a slight back bend here with the eyes gaze down. We are soothing the body, elongating the spinal cord. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms, coming into that seated, extended mountain. Keeping that heart chakra open with that chin up, we are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. We are welcoming in change. Allowing what needs to be in our lives to come into our lives. As we also allow what is no longer serving to leave our minds and our bodies. With the eyes gazed down and closed, breathe in the palms together in that salute. And exhale down the prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downwards away from the ears. Two breaths. Blowing the palms down to the sides of the body as they breathe back up, feel the next flow. Palms together. Exhale the prayer. Flowing the palms to the side. Breathing them back up in the air. Feeling the rotations here. We are working on change. We are doing that full circle. Allowing the mind and the body to come full circle. Allowing life to come full circle. Exhaling down the prayer. Palms come heart center. Breathing the palms towards the side. 
reaching the arms above the head, filling that full circle. Breathe in. Exhale. Palms together. As we lean the body towards the right, seated crescent moon, palms are together, slightly gazing up at the heavens. If that feels good, tummies are tight and tucked at our navel. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Allowing that right hand to flow downward towards the earth. Palms on, is on the earth. As we come deeper in that side bend, feeling that left arm come over that head a little more. Torso comes closer towards that earth. You'll feel this stretch here in that side body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, breathing both palms above the air, above the air. Seated, extended mountain. Blowing the palms together in that salute. As the body lean towards the left, feeling that side stretch here. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Opening up their heart chakra. Crescent moon. Two more breaths. Allowing that left palm to flow downward towards the earth. Palm is on the earth as our right one flows deeper over that head. Feel in that stretch. You'll feel that stretch here in your side body. We're going to hold this for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Both palms are up in the air. Feel in that stretch. Breathing the palms together, interlacing the fingers, pointing the finger points up as our arms flow slightly towards the back, heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Three breaths, tummies are tight at the navel. Still in this slight back bend, two more breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms. Breathing the, breathing the palms downward towards the side of the body. Palms are facing down or they're facing up. Whatever feels best for you. As we rotate our arms forward, we are working on relaxing and soothing the upper parts of our bodies. We are working the back muscles, the arms, the shoulders. We can go as big or as small as we choose. We are also firming and toning our arms. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find the pause, rotating the arms in the opposite direction. You may be feeling that burn, but we're going to keep on flowing here. Going as big or as small as we choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause. Breathing the arms back up above the head. Interlacing the fingers. Arms flow slightly towards the back. This here is a counter stretch to what we just did. Allowing our arms to relax and soothe. Three breaths. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, breathing the palms down at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears as our feet flows into a bound position, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. Feet are together. This is a bound pose. In our diamond, our feet are further away from the body. This is a hip opener. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards the body. Both these poses look the same, but they work a little deeper inside of the hip flexors here. So doing a pose that feels best for you as we connect our hands to our ankles or our feet, we are gaze forward, backs are nice and elongated, chin is up, heart chakra is open, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades, three breaths, two breaths. Flow into cat, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale, back to cow. No one to cat. Coming back to our bow position as we slightly hinge at the hips. Notice that when we hinge, leaning forward, you'll feel it a little deeper here in the, flip, in the hip flexors. So if we ever have a client and they say they have tight hips, we can put them in a diamond or a butterfly. And once the body is able and ready, we can ask them to lean forward to go deeper in that stretch. As the shoulder blades melt forward, head flows downward towards the feet, gazing the eyes down or closing them as the body soothes and relaxes. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming back into that bound position, using our hands to bring our knees inward as we straighten our legs, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. Backs are nice and elongated here, heart chakras open, chin is up. Here in our staff pose, we're going to relax our palms on our laps as we are gaze forward, maybe fluttering the eyes, shut or softly closing them. Just taking a moment to go inward here in our staff pose. Squeezing our tummy in at our navel. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Going inward. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply, exhale. Hanging at the hips, allowing the torso to come downward towards the thighs, feeling that stretch. We are in that half forward fold. We can go deeper in a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet as our torso comes closer towards our thighs, relaxing that head downward towards the knees as the eyes gaze down, feeling this full, Body stretch. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up to half forward fold if we were not already there. Flowing back up to our staff pose as we breathe the palms above our heads and our salute. Feeling that stretch, spinal cord's nice and long, shoulders flows up towards the ears, lengthening that spinal cord here. Tucking the tummy in at the navel. Breathing the palms together. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Breathe in this right leg in the air, right knee is in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. As we cross this right foot over that left thigh, we're going to work on our Sage Marichi three here. Taking this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. We can cross this left arm over that right thigh as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are twisting and lengthening and soothing our spine cord, our spinal cord. Taking nice subtle breaths as our eyes flutter downward, feeling that spinal cord decompress. Soothing here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And telling the body back to center, uncrossing it. Foot over that thigh, extending the leg back in that staff pose. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into a half forward fold or a complete forward fold. Three breaths. Pointing those toes downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex foot. Two more breaths. Pointing the toes downward. 
like a ballerina's foot. Exhale up to half as we come back to our staff pose. Spinal cords nice and elongated here. We're gonna breathe that left foot up in the air, left knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. As we cross this left foot over that right leg. Taking this left hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. Crossing this right elbow over that left knee, gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling that nice deep spinal twist. Relaxing and soothing that body here. Allowing the eyes to gaze down, natural breaths. You're gonna hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back forward, uncrossing that leg. Coming back into that staff pose. As we cross our feet and our ankles, coming into a tabletop pose. Coming on to our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. We're going to drop down to our cow. The tummy comes downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. This cow pose here is great for back pain, lower back pain. So if we have a client and they say they have no back pain, a cow pose is a nice pose to relax and soothe. And we're going to hold this pose for three more breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, tummies are tucked at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table. As we breathe, our right foot towards the back, feeling that stretch. Gazing forward as we extend that left arm forward. So right foot's to the back, left arm's forward. We are in that sunbird pose. We can option to lower the right toes downward towards the earth to help with balance. That feels good for you. Or we can keep that leg extended behind us. Both are considered sunbirds. Four more breaths. We are balancing and strengthening here, as well as lengthening. Two more breaths. We're going to take a nice breath in. Exhale, bending that knee to that elbow. Bring your knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Flowing back the bird. Knee to elbow. Back the bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back the bird. Two breaths. Exhale to our table. We're going to drop down to our cow, relaxing the body. Chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, flow into cat. Chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord flows up, tummy's tucked at the navel. Coming back to our table. As we extend our left foot towards the back, feeling that stretch, nice and long. As we extend our right arm forward, full sunburn, opposite side, tummy's tucked, gaze forward. We are balancing and strengthening here. We can option to lower our left toes downward towards the earth for balance or keeping that leg straight, whatever feels good for you. Four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird, two breaths. 
Exhale into our table. We're going to drop down the cow. Feeling that curvature in the lumbar spine. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. As we bring our buttocks to the heels of our feet, coming into a wide-legged child's pose. Buttocks comes to the heel, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us with our third eye chakra, our forehead connected to the yoga mat. With our arms extended in front of us, that is considered an extended child's pose. We can option to bring our palms together, coming into a prayer hands, child's pose, if that feels good for you. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths here, allowing a heart chakra to connect to our environment. Our third eye chakra is connecting and going inward. As we relax in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, if we are in prayer hands, palms are flat on the earth. As we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, using our palms to wave or push our torsos forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. We're going to spinal wave, allowing our head and neck to flow into this rotation here. We are decompressing and soothing and working out any kinks we may feel in our entire spinal cord. Two more waves. Mm. One more wave. As we find our pause at table, bringing our knees together, tabletop pose. We're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Crushing our torso towards our thighs, building strength in our arms. As we are feeling a stretch. Exhale, breathe forward, coming into a high plank, slightly tilting that body forward. We are working on building strength in our arms. Tummies are tight, two breaths. Exhale, back down dog. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right, keeping that tummy tight. Finding pause, we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This complete forward fold is full body stretch, allowing our head to relax downward towards the earth. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling the heartbeat regulate. Feeling the body stretch, relax and soothe as we go inward. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half, forward fold, slightly gazing forward. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance here. We're gonna flow back down to a complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. We also can flow into ragdoll by connecting our hands to our elbows. Keeping that tummy tight and noticing that when we sway and rock the body from side to side, you'll feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings a little more. Continuing to lengthen and stretch the mind and body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finally, pause at center, coming into a wide-legged half forward fold. Backs are straight, slightly 
gazing forward. As we connect our left hand to our right ankle, we're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs, how we do when I thread the needle. And we're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling that cross body stretch here. Yes, we are lengthening and stretching our bodies here today. We're simply just keeping our joints and our ligaments warm with the cold weather arising. We're gonna make sure that we do not get stiff. We're gonna hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to that half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. Backs are nice and straight. Two breaths. Tummies are tight. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, we're going to wrap this left arm around our backs, how we do when I thread the needle, as we gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling this cross body stretch opposite side. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Feeling the body soothe and stretch and lengthen. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into a half forward fold. Breathing down to a complete forward fold, maybe flowing into a rag doll if that feels good. Three breaths. Finding pause, coming to half forward fold. Coming up to our wide legged Tadasana. We're going to point our toes to the outward parts of our yoga mat, blowing into cactus hands. Bend the nose, knees, goddess, god stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Toning and firming, working that pelvic floor. As we pulse the body up and down, working additional muscles. We are building strength. As we find pause, we're going to rock that body from side to side. Noticing the muscles we're working when we're doing this. We are literally firming here. We are toning our bodies. We're going to find pause. Exhaling up to our standing star. Breathing those arms outward towards the side. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Gaze in the eyes down and closing the eyes. Here in our star, we are feeling nice and strong and powerful. We are feeling hopeful and willing. As we shine brightly, no matter what's going on, we are our star. Two more breaths. Chin is up. Exhaling back down the goddess, God stance, cactus hands, working the lower parts of the body, holding our goddess stance. We're going to breathe our palms above our head. Goddess salute. Exhale the prayer, palms come heart center. Breathing back the cactus hands. As we pulse that body up and down, feeling a burn. Two more breaths. Tummies are tight. Finding that pause, we're going to rock that body from side to side. Feeling that burn. Toning and firming. Two more breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling this full body stretch. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. Allowing the eyes to gaze down to close. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and half forward fold, backs are straight, gaze forward. 
Coming up to Atadasana, we're going to breathe our legs together. We are in our standing mountain pose. Palms are at the sides of our bodies, shoulders melted downward, away from our ears. Our feet are planted into the earth. Spinal cords elongated. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Here in Atadasana, we are standing strong and firm. May we be rooted in who we are. May we stay true to who we are. No matter how far we go in life, no matter how much we advance to new levels, may we always be rooted. May we always be humble. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, palms together, heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlace the nose fingers, point of finger points up towards the heavens. Arms slow slightly towards the back, feeling this slight back bend. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades if you're able, coming deeper in that back bend. Three breaths. And tell them back to center, separating the palms. We are in that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated. We are standing strong and firm and tall like a mountain. But we are a mountain. Nothing can move us unless we want to be moved. Nothing can tempt us unless we want to be tempted. But we are strong. We are powerful. We are rooted. Keeping that heart chakra open and that chin up, allowing the body to lean towards the right. Standing side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. If that feels good, opening up that heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center, standing. Salute. Breathe into that extended mountain, separating those palms. As our bodies lean towards the left, opposite sides, slightly gazing up at the heavens, we are in that standing side bend. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the palms together and out salute. As our hands relax down to prayer hand, standing prayer, relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Here in our standing prayer, may we take a moment to go inward. May we take a moment to focus on self, being aware of self. Without judgment, we are simply aware. No matter what thoughts, or emotions may cross our mind. May we notice. May we be aware. And may we not judge. Always remembering to be kind and loving to oneself. Always. As we relax here, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the palms to flow towards our sides. Palms are just relaxed. As we breathe our palms behind our backs in a bound position, we are in our bound hand. Palms are bounded. Slightly hinging at the hips. We're going to allow our arms to slightly flow up towards the heavens as our bodies come down, yes, nice and deep into a forward fold. Breathing our shoulder blades towards our spine, we are squeezing our trapeze muscles here as our arms flow upward in our bound position. Feeling this stretch for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, slightly coming to half forward fold, relaxing those palms on top of the buttocks. Down position on the buttocks. Tummies are tight. Gaze forward. We are in our bound half forward fold. 
Exhaling up to while we're standing, down to das, and the palms are still behind our backs. Allowing the shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale. Uninterlacing our fingers, coming back to that Tadasana, standing mountain pose. I'm sorry, it's Tadasana. Mm. Gaze in the eyes down with a flutter in the eyes closed. Just taking a moment to go inward here. Feel in the flow. Feel in the vibrations that are flowing, that is flowing through our bodies. Allowing whatever is no longer needed to flow out from our fingertips. To flow out from the bottoms of our feet into the earth. For it is no longer needed. Letting go of what no longer serves us. So we can welcome in what is serving to us. Two more breaths. Breathing palms at heart center, hinging at the hips, head forward fold, prayer hands. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair, pose, working the lower parts of our bodies. We can also extend our arms in front of us, extended chair, chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms back at heart center, we're going to twist the body towards the right chair, pose twist. Gazing at our fingertips, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale center, chair pose twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, center. Breathe, complete forward fold. <sighs> Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet to the back, down dog. <sighs> Breathing forward, come into that high plank. Tummies are tight. As we flow onto our side, coming into a side plank. Extending that arm up in the air. We can also flow that arm over our heads, feeling that side stretch if we choose. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to high plank. <laughs> Breathing to down dog. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. We are building strength in our arms here. Finding our paws, shifting our weight forward, high plank. Tummies are tight. As we flow into a side plank, opposite side. Feeling that stretch. We can also flow that arm over our head if we choose, coming into that nice side stretch. And that side body, two more breaths. Exhaling back out, coming to high plank. Dropping down to our dolphin pose, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is in the air as we are gazed to the back of the room. Walking our feet closer to our torso. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if you choose here in your dolphin. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. And our puppy pose, our buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes down with, towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us if we choose with that third eye chakra forehead. Connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward into the earth. 
feel in the third eye chakra connect to the earth, to our environment. As we work on seeing clearly, as we work on to continue to see clearly, knowing our path, knowing where we've been, and knowing where we're going, all without judgment, simply seeing, simply knowing. As we relax here, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, palms flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. We're going to do four spinal waves. Finding our pose at center, come into table, palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Blowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're going to come onto our buttocks, coming into a seated pose. And we're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the earth. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. Reaching down, connecting our hands to the lower parts of our feet. Legs, as we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Legs, the torso stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we use our hands to breathe our legs apart, we climb wide-legged stretch, feeling that stretch here in the inner thighs. We can option to connect our hands to our toes if that feels good, or simply relax our palms and our inner thighs. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our legs back together, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feeling that spinal cord soon. You may feel it crack, but it will definitely relax the spinal cord. As we extend this right arm out to the side like a T, we can gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder. Shoulder blades melt back into the earth. Eyes are closed. The gaze downward. As we relax in our recline, spinal twist, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, bringing those knees into the chest, hugging them in. Exhale, knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, soothing and relaxing. Decompressing that spine as our shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. Gaze in the eyes downward, close in the eyes if that feels good. Extending that left arm out to the side like a lowercase t. 
gazing over that left shoulder or gazing up at the heavens. Feeling the body soothe, becoming one with our environment. As we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale the body back to center, breathing the knees into the chest. Hugging them in as we flow to a happy baby. Knees to chest, but feet is up in the air. Hands flows between the thighs, out to the side. Connecting the hands to the feet. Happy baby. This happy baby is also a hip opener, just like the diamond and butterfly are hip openers. And we can choose to rock our body from side to side using the earth to relax and soothe the spine. Or we can stay still in our happy baby. Our happy baby also flows us into pretzel pose or Shoulder press, placing our legs over our shoulders, which goes into pretzel pose. So whatever you choose to do, we're going to freestyle happy baby for five breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up on the wall. Breathing our legs to our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Extending legs in the air. Breathing our knees to our chest. Keeping our knees to our chest. We're going to allow our feet to float onto the earth. Bottoms of our feet are flat on the earth. Knees are in the air. Placing our palms on the earth next to our buttocks. Using our palms and our feet to pelvic tilt, to lift that pelvic bone up. You'll feel that gluteus maximus squeeze in, getting nice and tight here. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. Bridge holds. To go deeper in this bridge, interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks. Walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing your chest comes higher in the air. We are in our deep bridge. Optioning to cross that gluteus maximus up and down. To maximize that squeeze. To maximize that burn. To lift that gluteus maximus up. Rounding. Tightening. So we can simply hold it still. Or we can pulse it up and down. Or do a mixture of the two. Bridge pose, eight natural breaths, freestyling. Buns of still. Mm. Fill in the burn, six more breaths. You can also option to flow into a three-legged bridge by lifting the right foot up first, placing that right foot on that left thigh, three-legged bridge. You'll feel your Left gluteus maximus is feeling nice and tight and burning. We also can do three-legged bridge opposite side. Left foot comes up in the air, placing that left foot on that right thigh. Feeling that gluteus maximus squeeze in the right buttocks. We also can have fun and extend that leg up in the air. Whatever feels good for you, four more breaths. Bridge pose, freestyle. <sighs> Feeling that burn, rounding and lifting. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing the body down. And we're going to squeeze it up nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze. Feeling that burn. Tossing it up as we're squeezing it. Round and lifting. Four breaths. We're doing a bonus here. 
Two breaths, feeling that squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees in to the chest, hugging them in. Exhale. Extending the legs up in the air, legs on a wall. Breathing the legs towards the torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth, feeling that stretch, two breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing knees into chest. Exhale, Shavasana, legs are parallel, side by side. The sides of our feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are touching as we allow our feet to flow to the side like a V, completely relaxing our thighs. Our backs are connected, are nice and flat to the earth. Palms are placed at any body part that feels best for us. Eyes gaze down or closed. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling the body relax. As we go inward, silent meditation. Six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes gazed down or closed, if that feels good, we're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Allowing our bodies to soothe and relax here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles, and rotating our buttocks and our hip bones, feeling the body awakened. As we use this top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose of choice, I'm going to come into a cow face, or we can feel free to stay in our laying, resting pose, whatever feels good for you and your body. My voice is just a guide, doing what feels best for you. If we are in a seated pose, tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated meaning our backs are not sunken, having a nice, strong, elongated spine with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Chin is up, heart chakra is open, interlacing the fingers, point of finger points up, allowing the arms to softly flow towards the back. Tummies are tight. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, come into that salute, palms together. Exhale, prayer. Pray your hands. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes down or closing them if that feels good. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. 
And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.